Minnesota, not just a younger team, but a smaller team as well. The tip, Don and Miller fights for it. The Terrapins control it, and we are off. Terrapins have it first. Swing to Abby Myers. They get it toward the corner. Cheyenne Sellers flips it to Faith Masonis, who drives into the paint. Bounce pass down low. Going for the reverse layup. Elisa Pinzon can't hit. And the Gophers in the other direction, led by the freshman Maya Braun. She passes it to Amaya Battle, who pulls up over Miller. No dice. And the Terrapins take it the other way. Elisa Pinzon in the starting five today. He passes it to Faith Masonis, who puts it up, and it rolls off of the rim. No good. Yeah, you can see right away the pace that these two teams want to play with. Both teams really want to push the tempo and get this game playing fast. In the first 50 seconds, no points, and we've already had the ball in both directions several times. The three-pointer from Braun, no good, but a nice rebound by Mishaw, and puts it in for two points. And it's the Gophers who strike first. Faith Masonis looking to get the equalizer for Maryland. Abby Myers moves over, a step in front of the three-point arc, misses, but a nice rebound from Cheyenne Sellers. They get it back to number zero, who knocks down that one from downtown. Cheyenne Sellers doing whatever she needs to do to knock down the shots. Maryland, three to two early. They swing it to the other side. Mallory Hired tries the three, and it bounces in. Abby Myers moves through one defender. Now still got another one in her face and knocks it down. Gets a help and above B. Shaw to get the two points. And if you're looking for any move, that's an Abby Myers signature. That's the one, the little dribble, spin, fade away. Laura Braun's pass intercepted by Diamond Miller and quickly taken the other way. Miller and Sellers lead the charge and a foul called. Sellers will go to the line. Sellers, Miller drive to the basket and both teams, like we said, trying to score quickly. Cheyenne Sellers looking to add to the fast-paced game. Myers defending Mara Braun. Braun floats it down low, and Mishaw puts it in. Rose Mishaw and Amaya Battle continuing to connect for the Gophers. And they have this thing knotted at seven. Get it over to Brene Alexander. Again, she tries the three and misses Abby Myers, the putback. And grab from the portal, transfer from Princeton, really did everything with the Tigers. That goes in for Amaya Battle. Terrapins the other way. Pins on, floater to Abby Myers. Abby Myers, six points. She can do it in all different ways. The Gophers swing it around the perimeter. Back for the three offline. And the rebound ends up in the hands of Cheyenne Sellers. Foul called on the Gophers. Sellers gets Baravich away and then puts it up and in. Not sure what happened there, but all of a sudden, a split second, Sellers wide open and able to connect. Baravich almost running off the court. She had so much space. Sellers there and was able to drain the mid-range. Excellent trap defense from Maryland. Causes it to take a long time for the Gophers to get it across the timeline. Already down to about 10 to shoot. Baravich. Pulls up from three and misses. Nice tip back, but it ends up in the hands of Abby Myers. Pass to Sellers. Sellers kicks it out to Diamond Miller. She takes a contested three, no good. Tipped around, back with Maryland. It goes down low and nicely done by Diamond Miller to run on in and get the two points. Good cut, good pass, just great overall basketball from the Terps there. Getting the offensive board, a little cut, easy layup. Braun passes it to Mishaw, who puts it in. Mishaw is everywhere where Minnesota needs her today. And that has it, cuts the lead to 15 to 11. Diamond Miller drives around her defenders, puts it up, and gets caught for the foul on the way up. Borowicz, who got basically shoved off the court, and there's that cut from Diamond Miller. So Miller goes to the charity stripe. Player of the Year for girls basketball in the state of New Jersey. They pass it down low. Mishaw almost had it knocked away. This first quarter, Maura Braun has no points, averaging 18 a game for the Gophers. They got to find some way to get her going on the offensive end. And she's still very active in the offense, but Maryland able to keep her from scoring thus far. Abby Myers driving in against Braun. Spins around, puts it up. She can't miss. Abby Myers is hot today.
that Miller's point's been coming more of late, but Braun has just been shut down. She's gotten a lot of shots up, and not bad shots, but Maryland's defense keeping her in check, and she's still scoreless. But either way, Alana Rose Mishaw doing some damage herself down low thus far today. Mishaw already up to eight points. Abby Myers, 4-3 hits. Abby Myers, first three of the game. Baravich sends it across the court to Sinano. Maggie Sinano drives in, missed the shot, grabs her own miss, puts it back up off the glass, and good. Cheyenne Sellers leads Maryland the other way, leading by seven. Masona's a nice pass to the other side. Faith Masonis puts it up from the free throw line and hits. Solid two points from Faith Masonis. And now seven seconds left. Barovic and the Gophers pushing it. Kicks it out. The three from Sinano, no good. And that is how the first quarter comes to an end. So Maryland's defense has given its team a lead. The offense doing the job on the other end. Pass to Sellers. Maryland moving quickly again. Nice pass to Diamond Miller. The end one goes down. But a nice assist to set that up once again, and Diamond Miller capitalizes. Yeah, that's just Diamond Miller saying, you know what, I have confidence in my ability. I'm a little bit bigger than you. I'm going to use my body, draw some contact, and go to the charity stripe to get three points the old-fashioned way. And she converts the three-point play up to seven points. Loses the basketball. And Minnesota keeps it. Swing it around the perimeter. Here's a three-pointer from Higher. Misses. Nice rebound from Briggs and the Terrapins. They get it the other way. Brene Alexander, an open three. He falls. Baravich and the Gophers bring it the other way. They get it to Mara Braun. Looking for her first three, and she gets it. First points of the day for Mara Braun. And if you're Lindsey Whalen, you've been waiting for that moment all day, hoping that it continues. Maura Braun, such an important player to this team, just a freshman, but their best scorer by far. But definitely, she can get going in this game. It could be a whole different game, but Diamond Miller, same could be said on the other side. Mishaw, pass it to Mallory Higher with Diamond Miller's defense. Lavender Briggs can't corral the rebound, and then Abby Myers takes it the other way. Miller. Miller, nice move, and gets to the rack. Diamond Miller. Yeah, maybe getting away with a little bit of a walk there. Thought she picked up her pivot move, but looked good nonetheless. Was thinking that either a crazy Euro step or a double dribble or travel, but nonetheless, two points for the Terrapins, and now trying to do it again. Passes it out. Driving by Lavender Briggs, puts it up and in. Baravich and the Gophers looking for answers. Mallory Heyer drives toward the paint. Diamond Miller pokes it away before she can even get there. Sending it down to Abby Myers off the glass. No good. A rebound by Sellers. The bounce and the foul call. Talking about how strong of a team Minnesota is on the boards, but Maryland rebounding the ball very well today. Almost midway through the second quarter. Gophers down by 19. Float down low and gets it off the glass and good. Rosemi Shaw once again. And that ball rims off and a nice rebound by Mishaw. Mara Braun and the Gophers moving the other way. Drives, puts it up and good. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Sellers lets that one fly and it misses. Mara Braun and the Gophers. Braun tries the three, and it hits. Mara Braun. And then if they can add Mara Braun's shooting to the equation, it could be a whole new ball game. And there's a lot of basketball left to be played as Myers missed that one. The Gophers trying to move the ball quickly, just as they have all day. Braun with the shot. 
it falls and already in double figures prompting the media timeout as we are under five minutes in the second quarter abby myers trying to get back into the rhythm that she was in at one point in this one with 11 points to lead all scorers amaya battle and the gophers looking to make this thing a single digit game here in the second quarter bounce pass down low get the gophers a chance to bring this to within single digits and she hits the second destiny oberg the six foot three center in the game senior for the gophers adding some leadership and more size that we hadn't seen from the starting five amaya battle pushing it all by herself for the layup lavender briggs bounce pass to masonis masonis in trouble Put takes it herself and the foul called as there are a lot of bodies in there faith masonis second free throw and can't break the turfs out of that cold stretch gophers looking to capitalize braun a full court pass right into the hands of abby myers cheyenne sellers pushing it hard the other way in traffic Three gophers around her, finds Masonis who just puts it up and watches it roll out. Trying to snag it is Masonis. Sellers gets it, puts it up and in. Cheyenne Sellers snaps the turfs out of that 12-0 skid that the gophers just put together. And if Faith Masonis shot is going down, you know she's going to work hard on every other part of her game. You saw the extra effort there to give Cheyenne Sellers the open look from the free throw line. Baravich, the three, knocks it down. Maryland playing just as quickly, but the shot's just not falling. A testament to Minnesota's defense right now. Driving on in, and the foul is called. Terrapins lead by six. And Diamond Miller hits a boat. So Minnesota looking to keep it going. Scored a lot of points this quarter, and it's done so quickly. Moving the ball down low. Battle puts it up and puts it in. Amaya Battle takes it herself. And off ball, Cheyenne Sellers goes flying, and a foul is going to be called. Sellers hits the first free throw. A lot of its points from the charity stripe during this Minnesota run. Yeah, Terps 10 of 13 from the free throw line, and it's just the first half. Eight to shoot, they kick it out. The three-pointer from Bradwell is good. And Minnesota pulls to within five. Down low, puts it up and puts it in. Cheyenne Sellers, nicely done on the other end. And you saw as soon as she crossed the timeline, she gave a look at the clock, saw an open lane, and went and gives the chance for the Terps to get two for one here at the end of the half. Bradwell looking to score again. She's going to go to the line. 24 seconds will remain. The shot clock will be turned off. And Isabel Gradwell misses the first graduate transfer from, she came to Minnesota from Cleveland State. And now Cheyenne Sellers and the Terrapins can hold for the last shot. 10 seconds left. Sellers working with it. Finds Abby Myers. Five seconds. They get it out for the three, and it's good. Brene Alexander knocks down the tray. And Maryland will take a nine-point lead to the half. As we begin the second half, switch sides, and here we go. Mallory Heyer. Passes it to Rosemi Shaw, who drives right on in and puts it in for two. Four straight points with double-digit scoring for Alana Mee Shaw. She's got 12 right now. Nicely corralled by Maryland. It gets back to Masonis, puts it up, rims out. Sellers trying to get over there. They pass it over to Diamond Miller, who drives right to the rack and puts it in. Clean Euro step there for Miller as we almost see a turnover in the backcourt from the Gold Gophers. End up with it. Mara Braun passes it to Mallory Heyer, who's waiting in the corner and misses the open three. Maryland trying to capitalize with Abby Myers. Down court open to put it in. 
Mara Braun and the Gophers looking to score. Pass down low, Mallory Heyer spins, puts it up, and hits. Cheyenne Sellers going to try it from just behind the elbow and misses. 52 to 43. Down low, grabs her own miss. Mishaw back up. Masonis and Sellers there. Miller's hands up, and that's going to prevent Amaya Battle from making that shot. Quickly finding Abby Myers once again. Abby Myers is fast and continues to get open and a score the rock. And again, similar to the one we saw in the first quarter. What a great pass from Elisa Pinzon finding the open man. Rose Michal going to work on Diamond Miller. So Minnesota at the free throw line now. Michal looking to add to her team lead in points. And misses that second free throw pulled down by Abby Myers. Diamond Miller leads the charge. Puts it up a bit too strong. Giant Sellers nicely done to get the ball back. Myers gets it back to Sellers who puts it up and in. Caton defended by Miller. Trying to pass it down, but once again, even on the other end, it's Abby Myers taking it away. Diamond Miller is open and puts in the layup. Timeout, Minnesota. Both these teams set out as right there, Elisa Pinzon puts it in, talking about the fast-paced offense so fast right there. It all starts with the defense here, the full court pressure really working for the Terps here. Braun gives it up to Baravich as the Gophers try to quickly slow it up. And now Battle drives past Myers, missed the shot, grabs her own miss, and the jump ball call between Miller and Battle. Arrow pointing in Maryland's favor this time. And here it is again. Great press from the Terps, and Elisa Pinzon there to capitalize her first bucket of the day. Maryland capitalizing even more, and that's a big reason why it has this 16-point lead. Simon Miller makes it an 18-point lead. Yeah, that shot's going to be open for her all day, every day, just because she's got that size over her defender. Mara Braun moves a bit too quickly, and Diamond Miller pokes it away from her to get the steal. Abby Myers, the three on the other end, no good. Pins on right there for the board. Myers swings it to Cheyenne Sellers from the corner, knocks it down. Cheyenne Sellers, two for two from three. And Minnesota takes it underneath. Braun triggers. Gets it up top to Mallory Heyer. Swings it to Baravich. The three falls. Katie Baravich. A lot of work on that one. Masonis tries the three. That one misses. Amaya Battle pass down low. Higher puts it up and puts it in. Mallory Higher gets the deuce. Myers puts it up and puts it in. Abby Myers. Mara Braun down low. Puts it up and in. Sellers puts it up, a bit too strong, Baravich the board and then takes it herself to try and get away from a pesky Abby Myers. Myers still defending Baravich closely, Baravich just has to fling the ball up and misses the shot. Pins on a nice bounce pass to Faith Masonis who gets the and one. Another great pass setting up a nice play. And Faith Masonis going to the line here. And Masonis converts the free throw. I know I said Abby Myers at first. I meant Cheyenne Sellers, 19 points right now, along with Miller to lead all scores. And another turnover in the backcourt. Elisa pins on, pass to Abby Myers. Lavender Briggs pulls up from just inside of the arc and knocks that one down. And that's a player, if you're Brenda Fries, you want to get her going a little bit. Hasn't had the greatest of games as of recently, but really is a confident shooter and just want to get a little bit of that confidence back in her. Pushing the ball the other way. Pinzon had that knocked away by Battles. Masonis. Trying to get around Ober, giving up a lot of inches. Try and draw contact and get herself to the free throw line, which is exactly what she does here. Maryland doing a great job today at drawing fouls. There's plenty of times it looks like, like there, a tough situation. Sometimes they'll convert the basket on top of it. Masonis hits. Opening up a 22-point lead. Laura Braun, Myers, 
and Briggs converged to defender. Oberg waiting, moves to her right. And she's gonna find battles, kicks it out. Drives, puts it up, and hits Maggie Sanano. Here's Abby Myers. Passes it to Briggs. Briggs puts up a three and hits Lavender Briggs from downtown. And a little smile there from Brenda Freeze across from us on the Maryland sidelines. Tell us you like that one. Loves it when Lavender Briggs is getting going. Everything's starting to fall the Terrapins' way here in the second half. Driving down the baseline, Maggie Sinano puts it in. She's starting to heat up for the Gophers. Pins on, driving around a screen and nicely done to put it in. Along with Lavender Briggs, two of the big transfers who Brenda Fries brought in this year. Oberg. And she hits her first free throw. And it's six foot three, like we were saying, the tallest gopher on Lindsey Whalen's roster. Renee Alexander passes it to Lavender Briggs, who puts it in. Staying with the hot hand, the Terps are. Lavender Briggs, seven points all coming in this third quarter. Gophers the other way. Oberg down low is open and puts in the layup. Destiny, Don't want to leave Oberg open as, like you said, it's taller than anybody on the court right now. Nice skills down low. And now the three-pointer from Lavender Briggs. She is really heating up. And now Baravich gives it back to Lavender Briggs. Briggs, 10 seconds left. Going against Baravich. Lavender Briggs, five seconds left. Puts up a floater, no good. Rebounded by Minnesota. Baravich the other way. Foul called against Brene Alexander. Again, .6 seconds remain. And she hits the second. Last inbound. Something you love to see. Absolutely. To win a game, blow a team out like Maryland is today at this point as Diamond Miller puts it in. It's not just about scoring. It's about what leads to it. We've been talking all game about the points that have resulted off of turnovers, the points resulted off of fouls. Maryland putting itself in positions to score. Down low, Mishaw puts it up and in. Rose Mishaw has been probably the brightest spot for the Gophers today. She has 17. And driving down the court, Gia Cook swings it to Brene Alexander, who has that one get the shooter's touch. And there you see Gia Cook coming into the game for the Terps, the freshman point guard who's lightning quick. She gets to the lane so easily, so quickly, and opens up Brene Alexander. Minnesota working it around the perimeter. Baravich just drives past the defense and puts it in. Gia Cook played against Nebraska last in one of two shots. Also played seven minutes against Purdue. Strong player in the area before she came here. The Clinton native, Renee Alexander, not far off with eight of her own. Reynolds puts it up and puts it in. Mila Reynolds after the strong defensive play. Easy call for the refs to send Reynolds to the line. Nice play from Reynolds. Can't convert it. Baravich floats it to Mishaw, trying to go over Alexander. That play gets her over 20 points. Here's Reynolds. Reynolds trying to drive around Mishaw, loses the basketball, and Minnesota has it back. Miller tried to slap it away, which slows up the break, but nonetheless, the Gophers find the basket with Mallory Heyer doing the honors. Gia Cook the other way, swings it to Diamond Miller, who drives in, puts it up, the foul call. Diamond Miller's free throw, first one. Mallory Heyer pass it, driving toward the basket, and Minnesota still has it. Mishaw goes up, pulled down by Cheyenne Sellers. 
Gia Cook pulls up and hits. Mila Reynolds pass to Diamond Miller. Miller moves, puts it up. Misses. Rebound by McDaniel. Tries to go back up. Pulls it down. Moves over and puts it up and in. And that time, you have to have some guts to go up there against the defense like that, too. And she just stays with it and not just ends up drawing a foul or something, but ends up with a bucket. Defended by McDaniel. Passes to Mishaw. Nice bounce pass, finding Sinano to put it up and in. That last loss coming back on December 4th against Nebraska here at Xfinity Center. Gia Cook turning into a complete, complete win for Maryland today. Baravic puts it up. Too strong, rebounded by McDaniel. Pinzon past Sellers. Bree McDaniel drives, puts it up, and the foul called on Michal. And gets rewarded with a trip to the line. Misses her first. Find ways to really test the defense, and it's worked for Maryland. Most of the time, 74 points from your opponent is enough to beat you. Sanano drives, puts it up, and the end one. Gets the free throw line. Contact from Lavender Briggs on her elbow, and she'll go to the line to finish the end one. But has four fouls. So checks out. Driving Gia Cook, and the foul called Gia Cook. And Maryland has eclipsed 100 points today in their final game of 2022. Gia Cook. Second free throw is good as well. Well, I think the biggest thing is it's becoming a complete offensive game. You have a lot of players contributing for a lot of points, and Lavender Briggs is one of those players. Backing her down, puts it up, and the foul called on McDaniel, the sophomore from Watertown, Minnesota. And a bit too strong on the first. And now Josh, if, as we'll see the second free throw, it is good. That kind of performance up, this is going to be a very dangerous team, but also putting up 78 points against the Maryland Terrapins is a hard feat. Make that 80 most likely? Yes, make it 80. Reynolds puts it up off the glass, rims out and into the hands of Destiny Ober. Gophers pushing it. Sinano drives, puts it up. The foul, another and one. And hits. Minute and 40 left. And what's going to turn into a big win for the Maryland Terrapins to end the calendar year of 2022. As Bree McDaniel puts it in for two. Much different team a season ago that was poised for a big tournament run. And now Battle brings it down off the glass. No good. Oberg, the rebound, they kick it out. Misses back up and pulled down by the Turks. Salisa Pinzon, nice pass to Bree McDaniel. Maryland's passing today has been tremendous. And I think this crowd appreciates the quality basketball they have seen today. 107 points put up by the Terrapins with some great baskets, great passing, especially Elisa Pinzon. I mean, I have to give her a shout-out today. She's not going to get the recognition because she, she didn't really score today, but some of her assists, some of her passes to the assist have been absolutely incredible. And throughout this fourth quarter and third quarter as well, really starting to see some players who don't play as much, who don't normally have these big moments shine in a Big Ten game. The Terrapins, a complete team victory over the Minnesota Golden Gophers to close out 2022.